Usually the references to art are less direct. It is a question of publicity echoing devices once used in oil painting, devices of atmosphere. settings. Symbols of prestige. Gestures. signs of love. Oil painting, as I tried to show last week, was a medium especially developed in order to render on canvas the physical texture and tangibility of things. Today, color photography performs a similar role. Color photography, oil paint. Publicity and oil painting use many of the same references and celebrate the same qualities in things. Share many of the same ideals, all of them related to the principle that you are what you have. Their purpose and their effects, however, are very different. The oil painting showed what the owner was already enjoying among his possessions and his way of life. It consolidated his own sense of his own value. It enhanced his view of himself as he already was. It began with facts, the facts of his life. Of course, there were other facts which it didn't take into account. Where did the owner's wealth come from? The exploitation on which his wealth was based was not shown. But what was shown did at least correspond to the condition of his own life. Publicity is different. It appeals to a way of life we aspire to, or think we aspire to, but have not yet achieved. A publicity picture suggests that if we buy what it is offering, our life will be different from what it is. 
scene after scene shows you this different life. Not only will our home be different, but all our relationships will become radiant because of our new possessions. But we can only achieve such radiance if we have money. And so publicity also works on our anxieties about money. urging each of us to scramble competitively to get more. Making money appear as if it were itself magical. This may persuade a few people to use a bank credit system despite the very high rate of interest. But what is more important is that it promotes the illusion that a man's ability to consume is directly related to his sexual virility. According to the rules of the dream, those who do not have this power, those who lack glamour, become faceless, almost non-existent. Publicity both promises and threatens. It plays upon fear, often the fear of not being desirable, of being unenviable. It suggests that you are inadequate as you are, but it consoles you with the promise of a dream. Behind the dream are the working lives of the very people it addresses.